Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're out here with the 1996 uh, Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, we're gonna. We already got everything sanded and everything done. Uh, I went and picked up a couple cans of uh, this uh, Rust Oleum American Scent Time Two Paint and Primer. Uh, so it's gloss black. We're just gonna paint it on. I've used this stuff before. This is what I painted the charger with. So as you can see, I have everything masked off, um, everything that I don't want to paint. And we'll just wait for the wind to kind of die down and then we'll get to painting on this. It shouldn't take much. There we go, that looks good. There we are. All right, there we are. And it doesn't take long for this stuff to dry either. And then we'll hit it with another coat. Is it gonna leave tape mark here? Yeah, probably, but who cares? But this is, uh, this stuff is, it's fast drying, it's for wood, metal, uh, it's paint, it's primer, it's, uh, it's clear coat, and, it, and, you know, when you buy the two cans, it's like, like a big turbo can of it, you know, it's like having three cans instead of just two. But I barely even sprayed, I only sprayed one coat on that, and as you can see, that looks nice. No runs, no nothing like that. Might have a little run right here, but I'm not worried about a run. I just want it to be black and not all not all spider webby and everything. Nothing like sitting and watching paint dry, is it? pretty warm out here and it's kind of windy so this will you know dry pretty probably pretty quick now I'm gonna give it like three coats this is just coat number one we're just waiting for it to dry now or to tack up one of the two Heck, as much as that covered, I don't even think we need a second coat on this. But I'm going to give it one. I'm going to give it one secondary coat. Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit of a run there. I don't know why, but whatever. Maybe I put a little tomato. I might have been a little too close right there, a tad bit. A little bitty run right there in it. Might be where, because I didn't, where, where I messed up at is I took the can and I went and I sprayed and then I stopped and I went back. That's a big no-no. When you're spray painting, what you want to do is you want to start at one end and you want to go flawlessly all the way through to the other and then either come back after you stop or you'll know, restart back over at the end and go back through. And if I would have done that, I wouldn't have that little bitty run there, but I'm not worried about it. I just want the truck to be black. It, it's supposed to be a 20 foot footer. Look good from 20 feet away.
It's tacky. Heck, as good as that cover, I mean, I need to put any more on there. You know? I think I'm just going to leave it right like that. I think I'm just going to leave it right like this and just let it dry. I, it, you know, it only took me like two cans per side when I did the charger. It didn't take very much. The stuff is spreads really fast. But yeah, that's only one coat and look at that. That looks flawless. got the primer the gloss the uh it's got everything in it and then we'll just sand it all down all the way around look good once we get it done the bottom half underneath all this is still shiny that's why i covered it up is it's all still nice and shiny underneath there. There's not even any rust over the fender wells in the front of this truck. Um, the rust is only on the in the back over the fender wells. Uh, you can see here, you know, there's a little bit of rust down there in that bottom corner. But other than that, the fender is completely solid. And this is a 96 compared to my white truck where we're going to have to do the fiberglass thing again like we did the fiberglass here uh this is this stuff's almost dry by the way uh here's the fiberglass that we did today uh this morning um it's not a hundred percent dry but it's pretty close you can hear how solid that is that's solid it sounds just like the metal once we uh, we put uh, a little body filler over this, and then you know sand that down, and then we paint that, no one will ever know that there was ever any rust right there. But uh, I do have rust on this fender here, and we'll have to do that same trick. We'll have to sand all this down. Uh, it's only surface. It's it'll, 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 this one's that's busted right there, but you know we can we can fix that. And uh, we'll sand all this rust off of here, and then we'll do like we did on the truck. We'll put a little foam in there, put a little uh, fiberglass over it, and resin, and, you know, a little body filler, and, you know, shoot it with some paint. Well, but there we go. Let's go back up here, and let's check our paint. Oh, yeah, that's, we don't want to touch it. Uh, it'll leave fingerprints in it and everything, but it looks great. It's it's a little tacky, but that's okay. It looks good. It's so good that there's a, I can see my reflection in it. So good you can see your reflection in it. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, remove... Oh, let me, let me plug my camera back in right quick. Let's go ahead and start removing all of the uh, everything because I'm not going to do another coat of it. I, I did put a heavy, heavy coat on this, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove all of this uh, paper from the truck. That way I can reuse it tomorrow on the other side or when we redo the back back there. Oh, well, it's just 
paper. Yes, this stuff dries that fast. This is some super fast drying stuff. And it's not like we're painting the whole truck or anything. We're only painting little parts of it, like this spot here. Uh, the spot back there along the edge of the bed and stuff like that. So we're not repainting the whole truck. I literally just sprayed this stuff on and it's already that dry that I can take all this off. I can't leave this stuff on because my landlord sees all of this on. And they'll be like, oh, what are you doing? Because we're not allowed to work on vehicles here. So whatever we're doing has to be done within, you know, pretty quick time period. And it's starting to get a little, it's starting going to be starting to get dark. So and we're done out here for tonight. So. Put all of it on just to rip it right back off. Like I said, all of this down here is still nice and shiny black. There's nothing wrong with it. Just the upper top started fading. We're just wanting to fix that as well. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to look. It should look pretty good, though.
And we're not painting the hood, we're putting a different hood on this truck. I've said that many times. So. One of these days I'll have a nice workshop where I can do stuff like this in. I won't have to do it outside like this. It'll turn out way nicer than like this. I mean, I mean, this looks good, don't get me wrong. You know. But. You know. Like. It looks good, don't get me wrong. I, we got to break, we got to let this up here dull down a little bit, and then we'll re-brighten all this up back down here. This wasn't sanded or anything. Uh, it just needs to be buffed. Um, I don't know what that is right there on the camera, but it's not on the truck. I can move you guys to a different angle so you can see that's not whatever that was. It's not on the truck. It's a glare, but yeah, you can see, I mean, you, we got a reflection are already in the new paint that we put on and then we'll blend you know this right here we'll blend all of this together when we buff this out this will all blend together and you'll never even see that there and by the way i'm already touching this this is dry and you can see i'm touching it touching it banging on it and it's not leaving any marks or anything in it. That's that paint dries that fast, and it looks that good. It looks pretty well factory. Don't even know that I painted it. Once we buff it out. All right. Well, there we go. Diaz Vault, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. I just wanted to show you guys us repainting the fender and what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to like, share, subscribe.